Hello everyone. Ito ngayon ang ating discussion in our today's session. And it's all about transportation engineering. Jam density versus free flow speed and space mean speed. And to start with, let's talk about jam density. Jam density refers to extreme traffic density when traffic flow stops completely, usually in the range of 185 to 250 vehicles per mile per lane. However, calculations about congested networks are more complex and rely more on empirical studies and extrapolations from actual road counts. In order for us to calculate the value of jam density, we have this given formula. K sub J is equals to 4 times Q sub cup all over U sub F. Meaning, Q sub cup stands for maximum capacity. K sub J, jam density in vehicle per hour. It will use a unit. U sub F. We have it as the free flow speed. After jump density, let us now proceed to the space mean speed. The space mean speed is the average speed of vehicles traveling a given segment of roadway during a specified period of time and is calculated using the average travel time and length for the roadway segment. And it is our formula to calculate for the value or amount of space mean speed. U sub S equal to U sub F minus U sub F all over K sub J to be multiplied by K. K sub J, again, its meaning is the jam density in vehicle per hour. U sub F, we have it as our free flow speed. And K, we have the density value and use of S, we call it as the space mean speed. For the third formula that we have, we have the formula for the average volume of flow, and we have it as Q is equal to U sub M times K times the natural log of KJ over K. Q stands for the average volume of flow in vehicles per hour. U sub M, speed maximum flow. And then K, we have it as the density, KJ, the jam density, vehicle per hour. Now let us have some sample seaboard problems. First, for our first problem, we have a car moving along Florida SR-400 at a maximum speed of 64 miles per hour. If the maximum flow is 1,849 vehicles per hour, determine the density at which the flow is maximum in vehicles per hour. And for our solution, we will be using the formula of Kj is equals to 4Q cup all over U sub F. Defining all the givens that we may have, first for the Q cup, the maximum capacity is equal to 1,849 vehicles per hour from our given problem. And then KJ, or the jump density, we have its value as unknown. So we are required to solve for its jump density so that we can solve for the maximum, the, the density at which the flow is maximum in vehicles per hour. So we must calculate first for the jump density. And then use of F, we have it as the free flow speed, it is also equal to 64 miles per hour. And now, direct substitution, we can actually compute for the jump density. We have it as 4 times 1,849 to be divided by 64 miles per hour. And the value of our jump density is equal to 115.56 vehicles per mile. Finally, calculating the density at which the flow is maximum. All we have to do is just to divide the value of jump density into two. Dividing it into two, we have it as 57.70 vehicles per hour. And this is our final answer. 
our density, at least the flow is maximum in vehicles per hour. Another problem, the jam density of the flows of the traffic flow on a single lane of one Luna Street is 120 vehicles per kilometer with a density of the approach of 40 vehicles per hour. If the space mean speed is 40 kilometer per hour, we have to determine the mean speed in kilometer per hour. For our solution, we will be using this formula, u sub s equals to u sub f minus u sub f all over kj times k. So direct substitution, our u sub s value is equal to 40, while kj is equal to 120, and k is equal to 40. So what we're looking here is for the value of the u sub f. Simplify the equation, we can have 40 is equal to u sub f minus u sub f all over 3. Since 40 over 120 is also 1 third, then the equation becomes 120 is equal to 3 u sub f minus u sub f. So we have it as 120 equal to 2 u sub f. So dividing both equation by 2 will be having a value of u sub f equals to 60 kilometer per hour. And this is our the the one that we're looking for, the mean speed of our given problem. And for problem number three, we have another C board exam problem. Given the following data as observed along the extension of SCTEX Subic Clark Carlock Expressway, the value for the free flow speed is 55 km per hour, traffic capacity of 3,300 vehicles per hour, and a density of 40 vehicles per kilometer. So all we have to do is to compute for the jump density in vehicles per kilometer. So what is then the jump density in this given problem? So first and foremost, we have to summarize all the given that we have. First, we have the Q capacity or Q cup or the maximum capacity, then KJ, the jump density vehicle per hour, U sub F, we have the free flow speed and to solve for the KJ, we have 4Q cup all over U sub F. So how do we solve now the problem? So given naman ang ating uh, free flow speed, given ang tra traffic capacity, and of course the density are also is also given. So direct substitution, we can have our solution as 4,000, uh, 4 times 3,300, I mean, okay, I repeat, 4 times 3,300 divided by 55. And finally, our jump density value will be 240. So this is our third problem or sample problem about the jump density sample mean speed problems. And that's all for today. Thank you and God bless.